some scientists go out and chase tornadoes while we chase methane. So we're involved in a national study of methane emissions from natural gas distribution systems. And the, and the reason is when you burn natural gas, which is mostly methane, you reduce CO2 emissions by probably half compared to coal or fuel oil. The bad news is methane's thought to be about 25 times more potent than CO2 in the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. So if you leak too much methane in the process of using it to reduce CO2 emissions, you lose that benefit. The motivation for the study comes from people who make energy policy and who develop climate change policies in the United States and around the world. They want to know, should we be switching to natural gas from coal and fuel oil as a way to reduce CO2 emissions? If we make that switch, how much does methane emissions and leakage from the natural gas system affect that policy? Our particular project is just one of a number of projects that are sponsored by the Environmental Defense Fund in collaboration with a number of natural gas companies. In the overall picture, if they're looking at each of the different sectors of the natural gas supply chain, so starting with production from gas wells, moving to gas processing, then to the natural gas transmission system that spans the United States, and then finally to the natural gas distribution system in cities and towns, our focus is on the distribution system. For the United States, the more recent EPA inventory for methane from distribution systems is something more than 50 billion standard cubic feet uh, per year of methane lost to the atmosphere. Those emission estimates are based on measurements that were con conducted in the early 1990s in a nationwide study that Washington State University participated in. In the 1990s study, we used different methods than we're using today and actually collected only about half as many samples as we did in the, in the current study. Our methods are, we think, better now than they were in the 1990s, more sensitive detectors. So our project is focused on two different types of emissions of methane from the distribution system. First are leaks from underground pipelines. Well, those could be anywhere, on a residential street, on a busy commercial street, and we simply go to that site, we put a, uh, a surface enclosure down over that location, and we measure how much methane is seeping out of the ground into the atmosphere. The other type of site are the above ground gas uh, pressure regulating stations that the distribution company operates. So we just go to those facilities and we first screen the facility to see if there are any leaking components. If we find any, then we come back and determine exactly how much methane is lost. This is a national project. We visited 12 different areas across the United States from the East Coast to the West Coast. All told, we collected uh, more than 200 measurements of pipeline leaks and also 200 measurements of emissions from above ground uh, gas facilities. The results from this study are going to be important in, in helping guide the United States energy policy going forward in terms of reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, reducing our CO2 emissions, and yet having an efficient, safe uh, energy supply.